also things, I've just got back from one of the longest flights that I have ever been on, still looking a bit baggy from it, do apologise. And combined with the fact that summer kind of holiday season is coming up, I thought I would share with you today my top in-flight beauty essentials and just general travel tips. Now my number one overriding tip would be to pack light, especially when it comes to hand luggage, obviously unless you're doing short haul and you've just got hand luggage, I think you're going to need to take a bit with you. But if you're doing a long haul flight and you've already got check bags, your hand luggage really doesn't need to be that packed and you're kind of going to be stuck with it. There's a lot of like walking around, waiting around in the airport, so you don't want to have anything too heavy on your back. So I would just suggest taking like one magazine, one book, pair of headphones, a few other bits which I'll show you in this video and then you'll be done. You don't need 10 magazines with you, however tempting it is. Speaking of headphones, noise cancelling headphones will be one of the best purchases you have ever made, especially if you're a nervy flyer like me. I just find they are incredible for like drowning out engine noise, drowning out the noise of people around you. If there's a crying baby on your flight you won't even know. They are seriously awesome. I will link down below the ones that I've got but they were one of the best investments I have ever ever made. Now whether I'm flying short haul or long haul, for me I just like to be comfortable. I'm not Beyonce, there's not paparazzi at the other end. It's not a fashion show. I really like to be comfortable and my tip would be to wear loose kind of layers that you can take off and add on if you're a bit cold on the flight, warm on the flight. For me I always just wear like a pair of leggings, a couple of light layers on the top and then like a light jacket or hoodie that's easy to get on and off and I also just pop a pair of socks in my bag like really comfortable kind of cushy socks just to put on on the flight because I do tend to get a bit cold. Whilst we're on the subject of feet I like to wear slip-on shoes just because it makes taking it on and off really quick and easy it means you're not faffing around with laces when you're trying to put them on to go to the toilet so some kind of slip-on shoe like vans or something like that are perfect for flights. Now back in the day I used to travel with a fair amount of beauty bits but now I've kind of scaled it back to just things that I actually use on the flight and kind of not much more so what I tend to bring with me are wipes for taking my makeup off like I said some kind of leave-on mask or oil is quite fun especially if you're on a really long flight your skin can get quite dehydrated and gray and kind of gross so I really like the origins drink up intensive mask that's really good you can just decant that into a little pot or sometimes I just take an oil with me and that way I can just kind of apply a light layer all over my face whenever I'm feeling a bit dehydrated anti-back is great and along with a hand cream as well just to keep your hands nice and moisturized you can also use that on your limbs. I like to throw in a toothbrush and toothpaste just to freshen up or just in case your luggage gets lost or you get left in the terminal for like ages because your flight's delayed. Always comes in handy. And then the final thing is some kind of like calming roll-on or spritz. Spritzes are a bit controversial because obviously you're like also spritzing the air of all the people around you. So I tend to use a roll-on and for that I use the This Works Deep Sleep Stress Less I think it's called. I've got a little travel size here and I just kind of roll that over my pressure points and if there's ever like turbulence going on you'll see me with like sniffing onto my wrists and I just find that it's very calming and also really good if you're trying to get to sleep as well. One thing that I always always pack is a spare pair of underwear because I have been there when you're standing at the luggage bit like on the other end and your luggage just doesn't come round. I was kind of hysterical, I was in a very cold country, I literally just had the clothes that were on my body and my hand luggage for a whole day. <laughs> Luckily my bags turned up eventually but it was so nice just to be able to have some fresh knickers to put on so I would highly recommend recommend stuffing some like knickers and socks in your bag, always handy and also a bikini if you're going on like a hot weather holiday, have that in your bag as well because I'm sure your mates or whoever you're going with can lend you other things but you're going to want a bikini and not going to want to be sitting there in your leggings on the sun lounger. <laughs> if you'd like to see an itemised list of exactly what I take in my hand luggage with me and exactly what I took with me to LA then I will link below a blog post where I've got a little print out PDF for you so you don't miss anything, it is all there. I will link that down below so check that out if you want to see every single little thing. And print out a little list for yourself when you're next going on your travels. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Sunday with a favourites video. Bye!